Namaste, love and light, star seeds. I hope all is well with you guys. I send y'all my love and light, abundance and prosperity. Okay, happy Monday, happy moon today. I hope you guys have a prosperous day today. Listen, you guys, I just gotta be real with y'all, okay? I feel like someone keeps coming into your energy trying to say that you're not a star seed and they're trying to drain you of your star seed essence so you won't be activated. It's like this is someone that's almost like trying to take your energy and then like go and like take your energy and run with it, like use it for themselves. Like they it's almost like they're trying to say like I'm a bigger empath than you. Like I can feel and see more than you. Like you're not you're not a real activated star seed. I feel like they're trying to stop your energy. I feel like they're trying to use their power to stop your flow. They don't want you to be flowing. All right, they don't want you to be flowing in consciousness and higher consciousness. This is someone that don't want you to be above them. All right, I'm here as above, so below. So whatever they put out there is is going back to them tenfold. This could be someone that's saying like they, wow, okay. This could be someone, wow, okay. This is this is someone that is. <sighs> this is some heavy energy. Wow. All right. So whoever this person is that's saying that they feel a lot and they claim they're seeing you doing all these negative things that I don't see you doing. I, I do see them trying to like turn you upside down, star seeds. This person is crazy. They have certain people watching you to prove that you are crazy. Just like what they say and to prove like whatever they feeling. Like they're going towards people and like, you know, Watch such and such, Divine Feminine Masculine, and see if you feel what I feel. You get what I'm saying? I'm missing an apple. Oh, no, it's right here. It got messed up. I realized. Hold on. This is someone that's trying to say, like, they're protected by, like, dark energy or dark forces or maybe, like, something with, like, ravens. And they're trying to say, like, they're shadows. I don't know what this is that they're trying to say, but they're saying... They're protectors, I guess, that are in shadow energy, too. It's telling them about all the dark energy that you're in. Like, it's all lies. It's projection. Like, I feel like, honestly, they're feeling their own energy, and they're trying to project that onto you because they're trying to escape their demons, all right? And they cannot escape their demons, all right? They're constantly trying to use you as a way to escape their demons. But they're telling people to watch you and to, like, you know, I feel like... You, they basically trying to get these people to project what they're projecting, all right? I feel like they're even getting people to tell you certain things about you that they are too cowardly to say. Like, they're like, tell Divine Feminine Masculine that they're not a star seed, that they're not activated, you know, that they're a liar, a thief, you know, that and that they're pointing the fingers at them and it's really the other way around. Either you doing something or somebody else. Like, they're trying to lie their way out of the situation. They can't lie their way out of this. And that's what they're really mad at you about. Like, they're mad at you because they can't lie their way out of the situation. Because you know the truth. That's just what it is. They can't get mad at you because you know the truth. They should never did what they did. That should have been their lesson right there. All right, for their asses to stop by you finding out the truth. Okay? That's crazy. They just mad that you know the truth, period. And you and you a truth speaker, and you're speaking up against their lies. Like you're not gonna lie, this person lying on you. What righteous, rational person is gonna lie a demon, a devil to lie on them? All right, you see, this person is hurt and broken from whatever past energy they got going on. I feel like this person tried to tap into your past, your past lives. All right, they try to tap into like your mind as well and what you be thinking. They trying to tap into your mind to see if you even thinking about the past. This could be an ex trying to figure out if you thinking about them. Like they trying to fill your energy with their empathic skills, gifts, abilities. They even trying to see you with their third eye. These people got a lot going on. They really should be focused on themselves, but they refuse to do that. They rather just take your energy and lie about it and say that's what you're doing. Point the fingers. They need to call on spirit to clear their energy up instead of calling on spirit to attack. Because that's just creating more baggage because their tax is not working see this person is very privileged they feel like everything that you have they deserve and i feel like you know they trying to hide and run from the fact that they are troll and and i feel like honestly this person got demons after them these demons are like i'm getting like authority type of energy like 
these demons is, is like going to have power and authority over this person. All right. Maybe it's the same demons that they use is after them now or the demons that they running from. All right. Because I feel like these demons is meant to like chain and lock them up, to be honest with you. And they trying to run from that and trying to like use you as a scapegoat so you'll be locked up. All right. Nah, they listen. I'm hearing heinous crimes. They, they committed a lot of crimes, spiritual crimes. You could be speaking up speaking out against this spiritual vampire that's jealous of you and that keep trying to take your energy and it's like for a lot of you guys they coming to you they coming they coming for you to you all right all on your page trying to curse you out and shit red flag they need to stop doing that you a positive influencer you don't have time to be stealing other people energy you don't have time to be you know pretending to be cool with someone just to steal their energy like that's what they do and they don't want to admit to that every time you call them out for their shadows they be like oh fuck you they like they they want to project that energy onto you and call you crazy isn't that crazy they call you psycho they call you crazy for calling them out for their bullshit this person is legit projecting whatever they gone through in their past with people on you they're trying to say you're the same you're just like everyone else like, I feel like this person, I'm seeing them drinking poison. They could be drinking a lot, and they're just wallowing in, in, in sorrow. The drinks is making things worse, if, if anything. This is someone that is, like, denying the fact that they are a, a false witch. Like, they are not really repping spirituality the way that they are talking. They're not walking what they're talking. And I feel like you guys are truly winning. You guys, guys, you guys are truly in this legendary energy because you guys have experience. You gain a lot of experience. You guys are wise. Part of that experience you gain was wisdom and i feel like you guys i honestly i feel like this person they, i feel like they're so confused they're trying to figure out where this billionaire energy going to come from and i feel like it's it's coming from you just taking care of yourself and you're doing what what god shows you what spirit shows you you following the way rather you're using your oracle gifts for the collective or you're you know you just see things and you follow and and you're obedient you know what, what, whatever spirit's saying you guys could still help people too even if you're not on social media but i feel like a lot of you guys could be or transitioning i feel like you listen to what spirit have to say you are obedient it's like you see things spirit show you things and you follow that you don't go against it all right you don't even tell much people because it's none of their business anyway this could be also someone that's mad because you ain't i guess you're not telling them you know, the things that they want to know about you. I mean, it's not like you holding anything back, but it's like maybe if spirit tell you stuff, they want to know everything that spirit tell you. If you get a spiritual download, they want to know every fucking thing. Like, I feel like this person feels dumb around you too. Like, they feel like, you know, you're more wise, more intelligent. Like, they don't know much. I feel like they are trying to tap into the, the, the um, knowledge and wisdom, high consciousness that you are tapped into, that cosmic consciousness, that cosmic love consciousness. You got to be in a love divine frequency to tap into this. And a part of that is unity. They're not about unity if they're trying to knock you down. It's, they're doing this because they can't accept the fact that you guys, that they can accept who you are. And who you are is a star seed. All that I say. They can't accept that. They're trying to see something bad about you. They just want you to be this bad person. And I feel like all that they put you through was supposed to turn you into this wicked person that they claim that you are. Don't allow that. Just set boundaries with this person. I feel like they got a lot of baggage that they're carrying, ten of wands. And I feel like, honestly, their ancestors is allowing them to carry this heavy weight. This heavy weight of all the spells that they try to send towards you. They're trying to do some ancest ancestral protection ritual or go into someone to activate ancestral protection. But their ancestors see what they're truly doing. And what they're doing is just not right. It's wicked and evil. They, and it's like they keep trying to block your energy. It's not going to work. They need to stop that. That's not cool. And they keep talking about you. They, they talk about you because they find you as a snack. Understand that you are that queen because your name is in conversation. All right? <laughs> Period, point blank. Like, these people, I feel like they're trying to deny the fact that they are doing spell work, occult magic. All right? They may even be a cult leader or following the leader because I'm hearing following the leader. They may have a following. This could be someone online that's trying to turn everyone against you. All right? By, you know, it's, yeah, I feel like they're trying to turn people against you by making them, you know, go against what it is that you're saying. All right, not just about yourself as far as like, you know, I'm an empath, you know, and, I, and I've healed and I and I gained experience and this is how I'm able to ascend. They're trying to use people around them to, to like go against that what you're saying. And how they're using them is, is not only making these people say to you, you know, 
you're not this, you're not that. But I feel like they also got them doing spell work to get, you know, other people, like just strangers, random people just come up to you. Or if you have a following, your following will turn against you. I feel like they're trying to turn everyone against you, everyone around you against you. Well, everyone. Yeah, everyone, the whole world, because you guys are in world energy expansion. We talked about this. I feel like this person is really scared of you, too, because you guys know you know, or, or there's something that you may not know. I don't know, and they're afraid of you knowing. But I feel like, you know, y'all know enough already. Whatever it is it's meant for you to know, you want to know. You ain't trying to figure it out. All right, I feel like you guys are an oracle, and they're trying to deny that as well and take that energy from you. All right, I do see them trying to put you in a lot of confusion. It's like they're trying to take your gifts from you and then, you know, weigh you down in some heavy energy where you can't get back up and i feel like they're using particular shadow spirits to do this to like watch you to make sure that you fall apart the way they they putting out and i feel like this is what's happening to them and they're denying it i feel like honestly they're going through a lot right now they're just denying it and i don't know why they keep trying to do the same thing if it's not working so you know they they are insane right now all right i feel like i feel like y'all they're really confused too like, currently right now, I'm getting this person could be, like, confused or walking around confused. They could be a zombie. All right? It's like they're trying to say they're not a troll, but I feel like they're lying. I feel like their lies is making them look trolly, and I feel like they're mad when you unveil the truth. I told you, they're confused. This is why they're confused, too, because they're lying and they're believing in their lies. They're believing in the fact that you are this negative person. Like, yeah, they may see you as, you know, this unicorn one day, but it's like... What they're basically trying to say, like, they at first they believe you was this unique person, but when they unveiled you, they realized you was this simp. Like, you really don't have that type of power. And they saw that you was trying to take their energy. This is what they're saying about you, Stars. And this is what they're going around telling everybody. And that's slander. That's slander. So that's illegal. Because that's not fucking true. And y'all see things. Y'all see what this person is doing. Other people see that you see what this person is doing. I'm hearing Yahweh. Whoa. All right. You guys see through God's eyes. And this is what threatened this occult leader. They claim they all about God, but they do occult work. This is like someone in the church that do occult work. They're like in a part of occult leadership. Like a whole, like, you know, um... Like Coven or like, you know, group brotherhood or something like that. Okay, I'm hearing Pantheon as well. So they could be even part of like, you know, they could be doing like voodoo or right, hoodoo, African magic, spirituality and stuff like that. Or they could claim that they're from these roots and these cultures and their ancestors, you know, held this power and they can do the same. But I feel like they're nervous now because they talk too much. They said way too much that they wasn't supposed to say. It's, and and it's, it's not like... They said too much about their power or anything, but they said too much that was not true. And they wasn't supposed to say that because it's simply not true. All right, I'm, this is slander. They're slandering you, y'all. And they can go to jail for this because they've been doing this for a long time. I'm, I'm getting like, it's like this is someone like passing notes around. And, and, and what's inside the note is them like talking shit about you. It's just pure shit that they're talking. It's nothing positive. And they're trying to say, like, you're trauma bonding and you're feeding off of their energy because you ain't got none. I don't understand how you don't have no energy. It's like you don't have to prove nothing to them. And even if you do try, y'all, I'm telling you, they're so delusional. They're going to be all in their head trying to say, oh, well, you know, what you said, the spirit told me that was a lie. You know, because they overthink. You would think they let it go. You coming to me saying what spirit said, that lets me know that you ain't let it go after that first time you were supposed to let it go. It's like... You guys are the oracle, period, point blank. I feel like, you know, I feel like these people, they're the one in this black square energy, all right? It's like, yeah, they may have the potential. They may have the power within them to unlock, but they're not doing the work to do it. I can't stress this enough. Your karmics are not doing the work. They're not healing. They're not doing the healing work. They want to win. They want to be winning by talking shit about you. This is them winning by talking shit about you. And, and, and them being triggered by whatever truth you're, you're, you're spilling. You guys could be online on the platform like I always say. What you're saying is triggering them. And they could be low-key talking about you throwing shade. You could feel it. You know it. Other people may not know, but you know. All right, and this person feels so privileged. They just deserve what the fuck you um, you supposed to receive. What you're deserving for, deserving of, deserving to have. This person, I, I feel like they don't feel like a billionaire. 
So this is why they're projecting to you that you're not a billionaire. And then they also feel entitled to have it. This person is literally a bitch that tried to trap you. And they was warned by spirit, by your righteous shadows, your righteous agungungs to stay in their lane. And this is what puzzles them. But a part of them just can't stop because they can't control themselves. This is how I know that they don't have no real divine protection spirit around them. Because they can't control their actions. They want to talk about you and what you say. And maybe, you know, if you go off or whatever like that, I don't know. All right, if y'all just, I feel like you guys just speak the truth. That's just what it is and you're passionate. And they take your passions into like anger. They turn it into like anger and you being mad and stuff. And that's just not what it is. You just don't take bullshit. You, you don't take bullshit. So, you know, this person coming at you with asshole energy, that's just, it's just, it's just not going to rock. They can't expect people to not, you know, defend themselves. All right, but I feel like this person is a bitch for trying to take away what's yours and make you feel like you had to kiss ass to get it back. To make it feel like, make you feel like you have to be on their level to receive this energy. That is what makes them look like a bitch. You got to be on their level to receive billionaire energy. Whatever your abundance is. Whatever that is. And they said fuck you. They did say fuck you in the midst of them doing all this fuckery. And they was projecting nonsense to your children. They wanted your children to feel negativity. They were sending your children negative energy. And, and they are being condemned for that. I said that for my members. They're losing their gifts for that. They're being judged, taken down. God judged them instantly for that. That's wrong. Why would you even want that to manifest on a child? And they want to say, oh, you do stuff. You do stuff on children. You cannot put that on nobody because you fucked around and made a fucking mistake. That's wrong. That's childish. Nobody's nobody thought that your, your ass walking around here like a soulless zombie out here just doing whatever because you fucking desperate and you want someone to feel your pain by inflicting it. They're not, they ain't ready for the pain that they about the mother freaking fit, feel. I'm hearing Fisto Pain. If y'all ever watched Spongebob in that episode when they was on the Fisto Pain roller coaster, that shit was fucking crazy and they lost their spine. Somebody may get paralyzed behind the fucking spell work that they're doing. Oh, they're trying to paralyze you, Spirit is saying. Well, that shit is about to backfire and they can feel it. They keep trying to send back the constant spells that they sent towards you. How can they send it back to you when you never sent it? They're like, they're in a, it's like they're in a cycle. It's like a constant cycle of them sending back the same spells they sent towards you that got sent back to them because they had no business sending it to you. In the first place, stop playing around with spells and stop assuming people do spell work because they're protected. Because they carry a certain presence. A certain power. Alright, just listen. Now, my mystics are psychics. They are magical. But not every mystic is dark. Are channeling their mystic gifts in, in a dark way to seek revenge because they in sorrow. Because they lost. In, they lost something or they feel like they lost overall. You are initiating warfare. Stop trying to drag people down in your bullshit. Stop saying you, you, what collective is doing because collective is not doing that. Stop saying collective doing this, collective doing that, but you're doing this, but you're doing that. You think what you're doing make it like okay for you to do it. You think it's okay? And then you want to be in denial of the fact that you're doing all of the heinous things that we're picking up. As a collective, my divine collective is picking up. You're wrong for even trying to use other people to block us. What make you think that's okay? What make you think you're moving forward now that you did a spell to take some shit from some fucking body? What make you think now you're going to get away with somebody else's destiny, life, blessings, love, Heart desires, their path, their footsteps, their DNA, knowledge, wisdom, crown, royal ring. Hey, Lord, I'm here, Lord of the Rings. Y'all should watch that. Person watching you through a peephole, thinking you don't see them, you don't feel their little nasty, dark, desperate, hungry energy trying to feed off of you. They can't feed off of you. They know you infinite, though. They know that the vibration you carry is infinite. 
So you're going to forever generate the positive vibration that you flow in. But boundaries, they need to check themselves. They can't just come in and feed off of you whenever they feel like it. Whenever they, they, they low on energy. And they got people thinking you copying them. Like the, like what whatever information they claim they know, like that shit ain't out there for everyone to know and learn. I mean, listen, listen, we're readers. Channelers. They better give thanks that they was able to tap in at all to know what the fuck they know. Over here trying to accuse people of being copycats, spiritual copycats. You're the spiritual copycat. These karmics always trying to flip shit. And they be thinking that they're right. And then they be fall, falling on their fucking head. Banging ass headed. Big ass knot on their fucking brain. You're doing too much, man. Chill out. Stop being in denial. That shit is eating you up. It's eating your soul up. That spirit of denial, the more you deny, the more it eats you. And it feeds that thing, that spirit. That spirit of denial. Yes. And I also heard, listen, when I said spirit of denial, denial, it sounded like I said spirit of denial. All right, so the spirits of denial is around the netter rules. You guys, listen, ooh, 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 ooh. You guys are being surrounded by them, and they are lifting you up. These car, listen, listen. The ancestors are showing me they tried to lift up these karmics. Whatever karmics I was trying to work with the netter rules, they tried, and this karmic would not lift, uplift themselves. How the fuck can the spirits uplift you if you can't uplift yourself? And then you judging other people in the midst of you falling apart. You, that's why your judgment is weak. Because you have no place to judge. You can't come for people that's on a whole energetic level than you. And that level is higher. Even if they lower. Why would you want to scoop low to make them feel even more low? Why? You need to call on spirit to help you. Not to destroy somebody else. Call on the spirits and the ancestors to help you. Period. Point blank. If you want to feel like a legend... Start by walking in a legend, that legendary energy. Be a legend. Take action. You don't got no points to fucking prove. You feel like you got, the only way you could be a legend is to prove to everybody you're a legend. And you ain't, that's not, nah, nah. It comes from within. It comes from whatever skillful craft that you do. And you unknowing, unknowingly stepping into greatness. You just that good. You ain't even expect this. Your purpose is not to become that legend in the sense of my soul is intention is to be a legend and to prove to everybody. No, your soul intention or your pure soul intention is for you to be the greatest that you can ever be for you. The, the, the express that highest expression of you and that is a legend. That's who you are and you earn this. Don't let them twist it up and say, well, technically. Stop. This is why, you know, I am very passionate about what I pick up on in my readings. Because this is real life. This is real life. Yes, we say for entertainment purposes only because it is entertainment. But it's still real life. You can relate to entertainment. You can relate to some of those sitcoms. But it ain't meant for you to take it seriously. In these readings, this is something that most of you guys don't already experience or currently experiencing, and you guys are trying to gain clarity. If y'all was in this energy that they're in, this won't come up for my divine collective because you just like them. Do you see their karmics coming up in my reading? I'm exposing them for being karmic and working for the main karmic. Any karmic that's working for a karmic that claim they know me, you claim my readings resonate with you, uh-uh. That's past energy that you stuck in. You stuck in past energy. You need to elevate and move on. And a lot of people have a hard time accepting the fact that it's negative energy in their life that is stopping and blocking them. And they do need a reading so they can see what's stopping them. It's, it could be the same people that's around them. That same environment. It's like it's one thing if you're in an environment that you know is negative for you, but you stay away from, from the negativity. and You just stay to yourself. You keep yourself protected. You know you're good and you're making plans to move on, move forward from that. Not you knowing that they're negative, but then you hanging around the negative and giving them chances and chances and chances. Or you doing shit that's negative overall. Don't, like, don't do that. One of y'all karmics done coming on my page 
talking about some this is why I don't watch general readings because it keeps people in the past. No, it's people in the past that are trying to keep us stuck in the past and we exposing it. Y'all don't I, that's why I know some of y'all are inexperienced, but y'all try to play on play and put on that like, you experience because you burnt a candle, you know, you may not have read tarot, even though you're not using it to guide your life, you're just using it to spy on fucking people and to brag. Yeah, you all in ego still. So you unhealed. And you do got negativity around you. All right. And most of the time, the negativity is you too. Because you're not healing. You need to heal from the fact that people did this to you in your past. This energy could be popping up because your ass ain't fucking healed. And I'm giving you the clarity you need so you can get out of this. Gain your strength. And if you feel like my readings keep you stuck in the loop, keep you confused, you choose to stay confused because I'm just flat out being real with it. Y'all want to stop me from, from using my voice, speaking from the heart. I'm always going to speak from the heart. Don't expect me to come on here every day getting on y'all because I'm not y'all parents. Y'all bitches my sons, yeah, but I'm not y'all fucking parents. Y'all look up to me and y'all know that deep down inside. That's why y'all copy and mimic every fucking thing I do. Having people inbox me asking me dumbass questions about rituals. Don't ask me how I do my rituals. Don't ask me. You want to tap into what I tap into. That's why you got people DMing me asking me how do I tap in. I want to learn how to tap into. You want to tap into all this cosmic information while you out here harming people and using information against people. And then you want to pretend like you, like you know more than me and try to block my crown. Block my collective crown and you got people watching me. In the process, this is an old, old game that you're playing. And, and you are playing with an old soul. I'm not stupid. I know when to st stay away from danger. You're not going to lure me into danger. I'm not an idiot. I'm not a fool. That's how you are. You lured yourself in danger just fucking around with me and other people. That's on social media. That's doing good. And a lot of y'all have no reason to be out here complaining. You ain't stressing for shit. You just unhappy because you lack healing, self-love. You can talk about me not healing and loving myself all day, but it all starts with you, boo-boo. Period. And it ain't that you healed and that's how you can feel that I need healing. That's No, nah, no, nah, it's not that. You're projecting because a lot of shit that you're trying to put on me is not me. And I've been saying that. That's why I don't really speak on it like that because it's like, why I need to defend myself behind this? Like, you know, you done it. you antagonizing me enough. And I do have collective members that go through this. Now, if they say this is not for them, they're not they're not a star seed. And there's a lot of good energy I pick up in my reads, and y'all deny that. Like when I say, oh, y'all billionaires. Y'all spirits are abundant spirits. Y'all royalty. You say, no, that's not true. You're saying that for me. That's all you that's all you fucking do is project negativity. Right now, you could be watching this and gonna be in denial. I don't do that. I do, I'm just I'm just repeating what spirit tell me. The spirit ain't telling you that. Because I'm picking up opposite what the fuck you're saying. So that's ego. That's demons. All right? And, and I'm, I'm done. All right? But like I said, your karmics, they are bitchy. They are bitchy energy because you are abundant and you are chosen to receive this abundance. And everybody knows this. Everyone can see this about you. And not everyone that sees it is going to try to stop you. They're going to uplift you. Just stay away from these naysayers that's purposely trying to stop you and, and trying to pretty much... Not uplift you because they in bitchy energy which is stopping their cosmic flow. They in bitchy energy because they're bitter. They're not healing. They don't want to admit to their hurt and their pain. They don't want to admit to it. They don't, but they want you to talk about how you hurt and in sorrow all day. Come to me about your problems. Tell me everything so they can try to use it against you. Stay away from this person. All right, stay away from them. I feel like y'all already know, but still, I feel like they got a lot of heavy negative energy on them, and, and it comes from lack of healing. And they hang around people that are just like them, that is low vibrational, and that hates on other people, masculine or feminine. They hate on others. They're mad at you because you're an influencer. They're mad at what you're talking about. They're mad that you are exposing them and that you see through their fucking bullshit. You're bursting bubbles here because they had a dream on taking you down. And they did want it to unalive you because you know the truth, and you're just so real, and you're just saying it. You're just saying it all. And they want you to trauma bond with them. They want you to say, you know, come on, you know, you you know we both we both healing from certain things, karmic masculines, you know, I'm still healing from certain like stop. No, I'm on a whole nother level than you. I done ripped that mask off of pretending with this fair fashion witch. Y'all rap y'all rip that off because y'all know not being yourself is gonna block you from your true star seed abundance. 
All right, you're not going to allow this person to troll you into believing. You know, we both go through stuff. You know, da, da, da. that's manipulation. They're mad, and they've been big mad because you are an influencer, influencing the people. You're receiving love, money, revenue. All right, and I feel like they wanted, they want, hey, somebody wanted to like shave your head bald, or they wanted you to like cut your hair. Somebody was like, oh, you look better bald, or some shit. That's, that's so mean. Some of you guys have a low cut, though. I feel like y'all have like a, a chic style, like a cute chic style. All right, I feel like some of you guys, like, I don't know, I'm getting like a stylist. I don't know if y'all make money by being a stylist or you thought of being a stylist. All right, I feel like somebody is like a stylist and they looking at you and they're like, I could style you real well and we can make good money just by taking photos or something like that, okay? And I feel like a karmic is mad because you could accept an opportunity and that's when they want to come back around and be like, well, you know, we both healing and you know, we both go through stuff as friends or lovers, but you know, can I please come back in and we can bask in these opportunities together? Like, uh-uh. Because at one point they were trying to block you from even connecting and feeling your ancestors. Yes, they was. Trying to block you from even seeing them on the other side in the heavens. Block you from hearing them. Because they was giving you warning. You are an oracle. Like I've been saying. And this vampire would say, you're not an oracle. And then try to steal your oracle essence. I don't get it. If you ain't an oracle, why they got to do any spell work? You get what I'm saying? Here. Here, here, here. But it's like, you know, this person, they're just very negative And their lies not even adding up, okay? But hold on, I'm feeling something too. Because I do feel like, you know, these karmas are watching us or you, you know, somebody could have came to you asking questions about this karmic situation and you could have i don't know if you opened up or not all right but they went back and said whatever you said to that person they went back i picked this up before all right they went back and told this person what you said about them all right you spoke your truth and yeah they pretty much was like lying and saying that's not true you know i'm not doing any spell work blah 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 all right it's just all nonsense like that's what they're basically saying like they're not doing any spell like spell work like whatever you're seeing is wrong and like you got a demon that's messing with your head they've been because they, they know you're an oracle see this is the thing they're trying to get out of the mess they created at first you wasn't an oracle and and they said they felt you doing spell work on the collective so they was going to do something to remove you like they was going to work with the ancestors our particular ancestors i'm here oh yeah and also thought of oshun too they could be obsessed with them because they they always pop up in my readings and i know it's because a karmic is in that energy or they could be around you guys as well all right y'all could even met this karmic because y'all both resonated with the same spirits okay y'all both could have been like spiritual friends or whatever all right but you know basically we, what i was saying yeah i feel like they're trying to say like you're the fashion witch all right you're you're the bitch that's projecting all right you're sending the negativity whatever you're seeing is is wrong all right about them you gotta put on the charger let's see if this one's charged and it's, it's, that's where all the back and forth comes from with, like, you being an empath because these people are trying to say, like, you're wrong, okay? Like, your intuition is wrong about them. Like, whatever you're saying or about them is wrong. Like, they, they, it's almost like this is someone I'm telling you. I don't know who you open up to or, or, was, or is opening up to, but they heard it through the grapevine of what you said, of what you was feeling. They went back and said it, and it was like, that's a lie, like, you got some black magic on you that is blocking your third eye. Like, why I got to be black magic that is blocking your third eye? Why you couldn't just be picking up on the truth? Use mommy phone. This phone is dead. And I feel like, again, I'm telling you, I, I'm telling you, I keep getting a karmic try to block you from seeing your ancestors. But you, like, block your third eye from connecting with your ancestors so you won't see, not even just what they're doing, but just see who your ancestors are. And how their life was in past lives. Because you guys can definitely see through time. Past, present, future. Okay? They're trying to say they're not a bitch. Alright? And, and you're an oracle. This is he. They be switching it up. Like, no, I'm not a bitch. You know, but you are an oracle. You know, I, I can admit to that. But they, but they were just saying from the very beginning that you wasn't. And that they was feeling like you was, you was stealing from 
their energy like their influencer energy like this could be another influencer they're saying like you're stealing from their essence you're stealing their energy like their abundance it's very it's nonsense this is where all the drama started y'all see it's very low vibrational Shh. mina is dead come on hold on y'all Yeah, I feel like I just felt it. They definitely try to confuse you guys about being an oracle. And I feel like that is what makes them low vibrational. That is what makes them low vibrational. The mere fact that they try to block you from seeing you're an oracle. And block you from seeing your ancestors. Block you from feeling it. Block you. Block your empathic gifts from even connecting with your third eye. Like they was doing some weird shit. Like doing spells on your chakras. They was doing too much. And they want to call you negative for calling this shit out. If you a reader and you call this type of shit out, they call you negative for that. Like, you a negative reader. Because you calling out the shit that your ancestors is telling you. You could be calling out their negative ancestors. Their demons. They, at least that's how they feel. Alright? You can see, feel, even touch, feel the touch of the ancestors. Like, you guys are gifted. Y'all can see the ancestors. Like, you can see what's on the other side. Like, the heavens. See what's within the heavens. Because you from the heavens. It's like... I'm seeing a, a, a connection between you and the heavens. You have a great connection. All right, y'all choose starseed. I feel like y'all have a troll following y'all that's a bitch. It's a female. She's jealous of you. She's crying. That's the one that's crying over your Akashic record. All right, and trying to say that she ain't crying. That's a lie, and I'll never cry. Like, you admitting it by saying that you didn't. All right, and I'm telling you, all these people want to absorb your energy. All right, they want to, like, eat you up in a sense of, like, just absorb you. Like, they hungry for your energy. Like, and y'all are tired of this person coming in your energy and draining you. Like, they are draining. It's like, and I feel like somebody is trying to come around you and pretend and be fake. All right, just to, like, take your energy and figure out who you are, who your shadows are, what shadows you working with. Like, some, I'm seeing some of them are samurai, samurai ninjas. Like, I'm seeing, like, a, a sword, like a Japanese sword with a dragon on it, like a dragon engraved. All right, and understand that these these shadows can transform into dragons. So they're ancient primor primordial spirits. And look, she's jealous. She's jealous that you can call out her bullshit shadows, but she can't even see yours and cause yours out. You want to know why? Because they can't be seen and they ain't doing shit to this karmic. Just because they show up don't mean that they're doing anything to this karmic. That's to warn the karmic. Stay away. And if you, if you take it too damn far, you're going to get this work. That's just what it is. You can't say no. That can't happen to me. That would never happen to me. Now, let me go ahead and try to block that. I'm going to block you, star seeds, for, you know, for even trying to project that. Like, like first of all, it's, it's like some of y'all can, you know, they panicking. Some of y'all can literally just be saying you're protected against evil. No weapon form against me shall prosper. They panic. They panic. I feel like, honestly, I feel like, you know, they should be mad at themselves. This is a group thing. They need to project that evil eye towards this cult leader because they're the ones who told them to talk about you in the, in the beginning. They're the ones who told them to try to expose you, try to tap into your energy, your third eye. You see, I just realized her third eye is open. See, they want to feed off of what you know, what your third eye see, what your, your intuition, your psychic awareness. Your visions, all of that. These people have a third eye too, but they're not using it right. So it's dormant. They're not tapping into what they once tapped into, all right? And I feel like they're trying to fight against that and say it's not dormant. I can see all these things about you. But what they're seeing is not you. They don't want to admit that they're not doing the proper work. What is that, Starseed? That is healing. If they want to be a better and more popular influencer, and for some of you guys, this person could already be popular. But if they want to be better than ever, they got to first find that from within. Nothing with nothing outside of them is going to attract what they're looking for. All right, because that magnetic connection, they let that, electro, that electromagnetic attraction and connection starts from within the heart. And they a bitch. All right, that's what I'm getting. And they a bitch for, like, looking at you sideways. 
you know, trying to throw daggers, throw rocks and hide their hands and hang around certain snakes. Like, they got snakes around them that work for them. And they're not even afraid of these snakes doing anything to them. Like, they feel like they would never cross them. They would never send their ancestors after me. You know, if their ancestors tell them the truth. Like, they already in their mind thinking, like, I don't give a fuck if I do get caught. Ain't nothing going to happen to me. I'm protected. Ain't nobody going to do nothing. Ain't nothing. nothing going against me nothing's going to withstand me can no one go against me that like they got a big ego and they trying to say that's not ego that's my higher self but it looks like ego like i see rage like i see a demon all right i, I feel like they are very much imbalanced and i feel like you know they like to they like to keep you in your ego they like to keep you like angry enraged toxic they like to keep you in toxic energy because it makes them look better even though deep down inside they're toxic it's just a, a, a um a facade all right a mask they ain't that's why i said again they're not elevating they're not really leveling up all right because what they're doing is just trying to you know drain you and make you look bad but in reality they're really toxic so that energy that they're taking from you is actually being canceled out they can never really receive your energy they can just pretend and copycat all right but it's still it's still wrong they feel like they're right but, like, they're also taking your energy because they feel like they're right. Like, they're right about you. Like, whatever the intuition is sensing. And it's, it's drama. It's drama, you guys. It's bare drama here. And I feel like you guys, I feel like y'all know what y'all talking about when it comes to this person. And whatever else. I, I feel like what, what makes you a legend, what makes you a goat, what makes you great. All right, whatever that is. What, and, and I feel like if you guys talk about it, all right, that's what I'm getting. Like, y'all may talk about it. All right, you may even... um. Talk about your accomplishments or whatever like that. It's like, you guys, it's, it's true. It's right. What you're saying is true. It's like they're trying to say that's not true, and it, and it is. Even anything that's spiritual. All right, if you guys are readers like me and y'all talk about, you know, the collective being goats and legends, spiritual legends, that's, the, that's true. And we gain all of our power back through healing. Because we all know that we was trapped in this matrix right and we were shut down and it takes for us to ex uh, us to go through the experience of life to have that awakening it's like this is someone that's not grateful for their awakening because it looks like they're they're like in a mess right now and they, they have so many it's like they got so many crossroads ahead of them and they don't know which path like they're indecisive they're like an indecisive crossroad they feel like both crossroads is not going to end well for them because it's karma and judgment within that crossroad and that's why they've been like trying to avoid it this is why they stuck and, they, and the more that they stay stuck in this energy, all right, the more that judgment is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. The path is going to get scarier, scarier, and scarier for them. All right, but they need to not look at it like that. Just look at it as a, a you know, soul growth, opportunity to grow. Yeah, you guys are a star seed, but they're saying you're not doing the work and able to be a star seed, star seeds. And, it's, and, and I'm telling you, this is how they deflect by saying things. They know you're jealous of them. All right, they're like, I'm, I'm like, they be back and forth like they're bipolar. It's like one moment they'll admit that they're a bitch, and then the next minute they be like, no, I'm not a bitch. I'm not being a bitch to you. But then the next moment they be like, I know what I'm doing to you, and, and I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't care how you feel. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's bipolar back and forth energy. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, they did a lot of spell work against you. I'm just seeing it all because it was jealous. Y'all, these people that was after you, they need healing. The ones that's following you now needs healing. All right? They need healing. All right? Not your followers. No, anyone, any followers that you have online, any supporters. No, the karmic that's following you that have vampires. Succubus. All right? I feel like they're going to get called out. They're going to get pushed away. I'm seeing an oracle that's going to expose them and dispel them because they gaslighting them too. They gaslighting everybody who they're attacking. Everyone who says that they're a unicorn billionaire and it makes them feel insecure, they go on attack mode. They got a demon on them. And, and, and it needs to get exposed. All right? You could be a reader too. That's also exposing this. I'm telling you, they're on the highway to hell because they're not healing. They are in a hell state right now, a hell state of mind. They're not healing. And and I feel like you guys are receiving so much love, so much love. Y'all about to receive so much love, more revenue. Like, y'all about to really glow up and be in that spotlight. All right, it's like you guys may have a beauty mark as well. It's like it's like your beauty leave a mark. Like, if people can never forget you, you're unforgettable. I feel like your beauty is magical. I feel like the magic that prote that protects you, all right, you know, almost like push them to that highway of hell. Like, they're, like it pushed them to hell. 
All right, maybe I don't know if they was trying to send you to hell, but that shit worked on they dumb asses, okay? Out here trying to scare everybody and trying to make people scared of you, and they the scary ones. All right, they have. I, I'm hearing hell issues. They got a men. They going through a mental break. It's a hell state of mind. This is they put themselves in this by driving themselves insane, overthinking that all their spells is going to work this time, and everything that they do is going to work, and then since it fall apart. They went insane. They have mental health issues. And it was because of their magic. I feel like their magic got them caught up between a rock and a hard place. They're like in the... They caught up in the middle because of their magic. Their magic got them caught up right in between all this bullshit. And I feel like they... Actually, with this plan... Alright, I feel like... I'm getting this person had plans on going to hell. Like, I feel like they was making plans to work with, like, some type of, like, underground spirit. I'm getting underground because maybe light workers may not, not all light workers may be familiar with it. Just because the light worker is familiar with it doesn't mean that the light worker is using it. All right. Or maybe not everyone may talk about it, but I feel like they went to the under to the underworld. All right. To conjure a demon or to ask, like, a certain entity that is in the dark realms for help. All right, well, they went to the graveyards. Like, they had plans on going, taking this highway to hell to seek help. They went to a ghost, y'all. I'm telling you, they went somewhere to hell, y'all. Somewhere in a low realm, a cold place. And I feel like they try to use this spirit to bind you. This could be the devil. Okay? You guys are powerful. I feel like they thought that they can, you know, use the spirit and they will gain power over you. But you guys, y'all, y'all, y'all love yourself too much. Y'all too powerful for that. And and they know they're not gonna break you. They just can't break you. You guys been around this cosmos for a long time. I feel like something's gonna blow up for them within the next 24 hours. Look, I'm telling you, their head about to explode. They about to fucking go crazy. You thought they saw? You thought you saw them go crazy before? Nah, uh, this friend of me. She's about to, like, really, like, get exposed. I feel like she's going to, like, reveal herself. I feel like this friend of me is about to reveal themselves. Like, y'all need to be careful, all right, in a, in a few months. I feel like I'm getting past energy. I feel like this friend of me been following you for the past few months. They could have been following you in cars, drive-bys, all right, and she got some dude in the car. She could be with your karmic ex. All right, I'm seeing a gun, okay? It's either they in that energy of get the gun or they may have an actual like gun here or just threaten your life it's not gonna work here okay they they trolling they trying to scare you the, to make you stop whatever the fuck you they claim that you're doing all right but i feel like um she's about to get exposed now i feel like she was um threatening your life i feel like this friend of me was threatening your life here now she wants the pity party after she tried to threaten your life for months was threatening your life with months with magic even actually doing the action the actual magic all right, could be a Taurus involved or you're a Taurus. <clears throat> All right, someone did something really below the belt. Like something low. Like real low. Like that's why they're stuck. They can never get themselves out of this. Whatever this bitch is. Whatever they did to you, Divine Feminine Masculine, they are stuck in this energy. Some of you guys definitely need to move away from these people. If these are like neighbors or whatever, they could have tried to sabotage you. It didn't work. But a lot of you guys, y'all just needed, you know, the, the conclusion, the, out, the answer to this is just moving away. Don't stay. You're going to stay stuck in the same vibe because nobody over there is going to change. All right, yeah, someone could be doing voodoo in your neighborhood as well. Or the topic of, or voodoo could have been like the topic and they could have been trying to say you do it when they was doing it. All right, somebody could have been actually doing voodoo to make you move and it, and it, and it bounced back on them. Some of you guys about to receive cash, fast cash. Their voodoo actually opened up the road for you to receive fast cash. All right, for you to get the hell up out of that energy. All right, and I, like I said, if it's a neighborhood or something, these people are not changing no time soon. All right, I feel like these karmas are trying to say you're not, you're, you're going to receive fast cash no time soon. That's what they're saying. They're doing voodoo, and they're doing certain spells for you not to receive fast cash no time soon or some shit. It's like, like I said, for some of you guys, somebody's watching your every move. All right, they're doing voodoo based on what new move they find out that you're making. All right, this is really sad. I said this in a, a past reading that somebody's watching your every move. Could be a Taurus. Taurus bitch. Or you could be a Taurus. 
something I resonate. It landed on a bitch card. It could be a Taurus friend of me, or you could be a Taurus that had a friend of me that's on the highway to hell. They're like going fucking crazy. They're going down, Star Seeds. They could have been pulling a lot of Oracle cards on you. This friend was pulling a lot of cards on you. A lot of cards could have even been an Aries. A Taurus and Aries could have been working together. Somebody could be a Taurus Aries cusper. All right, I feel like something is in alignment right now for you. I feel like I feel like something is like like I'm getting your gaining alignment. Honestly, like that alignment is going to help attract and bring in. That abundance you've been waiting for, yeah. You're tying up loose ends. You could be tying up loose ends with a Taurus or Aries, or you could be a Taurus and Aries tying up loose ends with, with whoever this friend of me is. All right, that could be working with an ex, or this could be an ex as well, okay? I feel like they don't want to face karma. They don't want to deal with no legal deals. Whoever this Taurus is, they're trying to get themselves out of the mess they created, or you could be a Taurus, and you can feel they're trying to get themselves out of this mess by trying to put it on you. That's what they always do. All right, and they and I feel like they are watching you. This is someone, they don't know who they are. It's like they don't even look like the type of person who they say that they are. They don't even look like who they who they look like on earth, obviously. They don't look like how they look like on earth. <laughs> obviously, but I feel like there's some magic that was done on them that transformed them to look into like some type of old looking thing like I'm not even it's like an old man like the hermit but like like a old like a old dark wizard maybe. I feel like they did some dark magic that backfired and transformed them into this person, but I feel like they they're a lot more like older. Like they're like this, like the old soul, but an old soul that does that, that that does not carry youth. That's like the dissipating, the, the the dissipating. Ah, that's fading, fizzling, losing its spark. I told you they're going to that bottomless pit abyss. I told y'all. All right, this old hoopty. It could be a feminine. She lost her spark. She could be like um a sex worker or something like that. All right, and I feel like she's losing that sexual like magic that she had or passion. I feel like some sex magic was used against this Aries. Like somebody, I don't know. I I don't know who the hell. I, this could be, some of y'all have a MacBook. All right. You like mac and cheese. All right. You could be an Aries. And somebody could have did spell work against your pooms. All right. To make your pooms feel like an old hoopty pooms. And it backfired on that person. You could be an empath and you can feel this. Either you an Aries or an Aries could have did this to you. All right, yeah, they could have do voodoo. They could do voodoo. All right, and they also was going against your fast cash. Take it how it resonates, okay? But, um, yeah, I feel like this person was acting very childish. All right, and I feel like, you know, the Aries is the, ch is the child of the Zodiac, okay? And um, I feel like this with this children, I'm just getting like they could have been acting very childish, okay? And I feel like this person thought they was going to be at peace after they did something childish to you. And they could be trying to deny what they did to you and trying to, like, make you feel and other people feel like they never did that. All right, they want people to feel like you're crazy. Look at, like, this is, now nah, we in a whole new age of awakening. You're not going to do that. Some of y'all could be a cancer. This person may have cancer on their heart. Like, I feel like their heart is cancerous, contagious, toxic. All right, it's breast cancer month. All right, so, you know, shout out to all the women that, you know, overcovered from breast cancer and, you know, rest in peace to the ones that did pass. All right, but I feel like if some of you guys could have breast cancer, you're tying up that loose end. Like, some of y'all could have beat cancer or you're going to. I see that. All right, tying up loose ends with that cancer. Some of y'all could have tied up loose ends with a cancer. All right, and a Taurus. All right, you could be one of these signs and you could be tying up loose ends with a lot of people that are trying to block you, block you from transitioning. A lot of these people, they're trying to, like, wash their hands and not touch the mess that they created because they know now if they touch it again it's going to explode but i feel like they still have to deal with the consequences like what's done can't be undone and they still got to deal with what they put out there okay someone is on the down low they have trying they they trying to deny that they don't want their energy to come out i feel like this is this is why this person could be stuck too all right and it's hard for them to paint a picture a pitch a picture perfect life because they low-key down low uh, aries could be down low Okay, they could be sleeping with an Aries man. Okay, old woman. All right, take out resonate because they, they could be a LGBTQ man or LGBTQ woman. All right, and I feel like you guys, somebody's trying to say, like, you want fame. Like, somebody's saying you did spell work for fame. They need to stop saying that, all right? They could be saying this about you, Scorpio, or there's a Scorpio out there that's sitting still and stagnant trying to project that you did spell work for the fame you have. And and it's crazy. All right, they could be in, like, Scorpionic energy. They have that in their chart, all right? Or they could just have, like, a vengeful heart. This That's 
traits of an unhealed Scorpio. But what I'm getting is like this person is watching you be successful and they're trying to say you did spell work. I feel like it's spell work that's protecting the fame and the golden light that you're in, that you're walking in. And this is what attracted that fame, recognition, recognition, six of wands, energy. You deserve this. All right. And I feel like there is good juju around you, good magic around you that helped leveled you up. And I feel like this is almost like um, inheritance that you gained from your ancestors. They did their little work. All right, because they love you. I feel like somebody either want to keep you stagnant, Scorpio, or there's a Scorpio that is like sitting still, stuck and stagnant, doing spell work against your spell work. All right, that keeps you protected. Like they, I feel like this person think you're doing spell work. Because when I say they're doing spell work against your spell work, but some of you guys, y'all don't do spell work. You're just naturally protected, okay, because of who you are in spirit. Like that protection just comes. All right. Somebody trying to say your protection comes with a price. Like, you can lose it. They're stupid. All right, they can lose it. All right, I feel like you guys work for this and gain this. Even if you do rit rituals and spells, all right, to protect you, there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like the type of high level, this type of high high level protection you have, all right, I feel like it it is beyond whatever candle magic you could be doing. All right, I feel like it comes from a higher power. And I feel like the higher power is connected with your ancestors, your ancestry. Your Akashic record. It was always meant for this stardom, this fame, this fortune. And I feel like they want to stop you from being a star. That's what they keep doing. They keep, they constantly keep trying to put you in this cycle of not being a star. It's like they're trying to open up that cycle for you not to be a star. And I feel like they told people this. They told somebody that, like, I'm going to stop her from being a star. I'm going to stop her from being in that starlight because they got you thinking this, that, and the third. And this is what the ancestors gave you. But but what you don't realize is that they have the power. This is what they're saying. This is what they're saying verbatim. This is what they're saying verbatim. But you don't realize, okay, is that they have the power to take away, all right, that what the ancestors gave you. And what they're not realizing is that they don't have that power. They only have the power to take it away from themselves, which has happened. All right, the moment they try to set that energy out there, set the tone for you to lose your stardom, boundaries were set. And I feel like they hate hearing this. And they want to turn everyone against you and away from you because you're saying that you're protected against their spell work. All right, I feel like, you know, I'm... Uh, <laughs> you're, you're, it's like your life is magical You guys are like literally I'm literally seeing like you guys are like magnetic Electromagnetic And it's like it attracts a lot And makes thoughts tangible You guys are master powerful manifestors And it starts from within And I feel like your ancestors did bless your life God blessed your life I feel like somebody is stalking you, Libra. Somebody was, like, plotting on meeting up with you or seeing, like, they claimed they was going to meet up with you. You ain't know about it. But they was going to pretty much pop up at your home this weekend. It's a stalker. They don't want you to know about them. Yeah, I feel like they could be still stalking you this week. You need to get that together. All right, like, cut that cord, please. Okay? This is a Pacific message. That doesn't change the fact that you're protected, but if you don't want to deal with this stalker, Cut that cord, okay? Ask spirit to get them out of your life. You may need to send them bitchy energy, queen of swords energy. Get them out of there. All right, I feel like this time around, you guys are going to be uplifted. And these people are going to be crying. All right, y'all, hold your position. Don't give these people no power. Don't give them a chance to feel like they have power over you. Because that's how they want you to feel. These people could be old. I saw like an old person foot. They could be Caribbean. All right, that's like, like a... A brownish complexion. They could be working with somebody in the islands to do spell work on you. To do like hot like voodoo. They this is someone that's trying to like slow down your life. This is someone that got attachment issues. They're making my spirit mad because they're desperate to take you down. That's what that and they're and they're communicating with someone over the airways to take you down to like block your energy, stop you from expanding, stop your stop you from like even um being like what is it? Stop you from expanding, but that's not the word. Stop you from, like, putting yourself out there for, you know, your light being shown to the world. Like, some of you guys could be online, too. Somebody is, like, doing spell work or or maybe they could be working with somebody that runs that social media. I don't know. But they're telling them to, like, stop you from being seen pretty much here. I, I, that's what I'm feeling. They're doing some, some type of spell to, like, block your light. All right, or block you from like getting like proper exposure, and I feel like this is someone that's crying in the background over you because you're leveling up, and they're panicking, so they're trying to find one way to stop you from from leveling up.
feel like it's sad. They need to admit that they are um, in a bad place right now. They're just simply not happy and they need to practice more. They need to practice more self-love and learn more about themselves. And stop projecting that other people don't know about themselves because they're confused. They're confused about everything that they once thought and known. You know, like, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing that. They're confused. They're really confused. All right, and I feel like they got a, a lot of attachments over their crown that, that's, like, haunting them. Yeah, I feel like with this big mama reverse the sun, they are just not happy. They are not happy. They're, they don't feel enlightened. Some of y'all could have some cornbread. Some honey, cornbread. Ooh, ooh, that's some good-ass cornbread. I'm tasting it. One of your grandmothers, great-grandmothers, great-great-great or great-aunt, she can cook. She came down from the heavens and bought you some, some, some abundance. Okay, with this cornbread, that's just giving me like a present, a gift here. All right, I don't know if you guys feed your ancestors or whatever. That's really good. All right, if you do, because they're giving back. All right, and she gave you some information too. All right, or, you know, this key unlocks some, um, a, like a, something within you. I'm seeing a DNA code. Like you guys could have had a DNA activation and it was connected with your ancestry. You could have found out more about your ancestry maybe that you guys are royalty or where your royalty where royal bloodline comes from where it started this big church hat she's wearing is significant for one of your ancestors they may wear worn at wore church garments or pearls all right like a, a a what is it like a wine red lipstick could have worn a little makeup love beauty too she could cook her ass off and that's why you can cook bam ancestor I can't make it up. An ancestor visit you from the heavens. This is why I was picking up that celebration. She was cooking and she bought you. She came down and bought you something from the heavens. I'm seeing her bringing you cornbread because you may have loved cornbread. Okay. I don't know if she used to. Um. Yeah. This is a gift. This this cornbread that she bought. I'm actually seeing cornbread. But I know in the 3D, this will be like a gift, a present. And you unlock some type of gift that was inherited from her. I talked about this. I told y'all. This is beautiful. I don't know if y'all left your ancestors some cornbread. All right, your ancestors coming here to bring you some cornbread too. That cornbread is giving me like money. All right, prosperity. All right, you know, if you guys needed help with something, your ancestors going on the other side is, is going to help you with that. This can even be pertaining to stability. All right, I feel like if you've been struggling with like rent or bills, all right, or, you know, your business just was not booming the way you would like it to, just know this cornbread, this is representing some abundance. You know, bread is money, all right? And corn, is it has a positive um, significance. That's like harvest. You about to harvest a lot of coins. It's like your ancestor gave you, like, a recipe to know how to cook up some some abundance. Like, they, like your ancestors definitely could have been magical, all right? And this is like they passed down a recipe, all right, for you to cook up some abundance. This could be, like, an a, a idea, a plan, all right? This is like, this idea, this plan is how you can obtain what you're looking for. That's awesome, you guys. Your ancestors are here, big and bold. Look, the bones. This is judgment. I feel like someone is reading their own judgment and they don't like it. And they're thinking about you. It's because of, like, what they did to you. Because whatever they sent towards you missed. Or someone could be reading someone else's judgment. And it's connected is being connected to whatever they try to do to your ancestors your bloodline whatever ancestors that's in the grave try to attack they try to attack your ancestors grave wow that's dark i'm seeing them sending an attention for whatever this is a people at a distance trying to send attacks towards your ancestors grave to make them like be zombies and, and turn them against them turn them against you and each other your ancestors aren't zombies there aren't zombies. What the fuck? And they, they don't have the power to lower your ancestors. 
But these people think they have the power to do so. This is why I'm picking it up because they 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 overly calculate it. Feel like something magical is happening and your ancestors were called. All right, yeah, I feel like to make you a free man, somebody was trying to chain you up, and your ancestors came. And I feel like this calling is going to, it's permanent. It's like your ancestors are permanently called to walk with you. I'm seeing giants surrounding y'all, African giants in, like, warrior garments. They can also be native, indigenous, all right? And I'm seeing melanin, too. <sighs> yeah. It's like judgment is going to, like that corn is going to ever, forever be called whenever this person tried to create some nonsense, conjure some shit to go after you. And they also being told or they're going to be in the near future. Not even that if they do this again. But this energy is going to come back onto them ten times worse. And they're not going to see it coming. They could be going to somebody that does, like, readings that is, like, native. Or they have, like, native ancestors around. It's like, what this reader felt, all right? Because, I feel, like I said, they could be reading their own judgment. I feel like, like, I feel like, when I said that, I saw, like, this person in this position. They may know how to read cards, too, or understand the bones or the shells. And they seeing it, too, for their own eyes. Even if this is something that's online, like, through Zoom. They, they're, they're having a little connection in their third eye seeing what this reader is seeing. That's the spirits want them to fucking see since they claim they can see so much with their third eye. Bitch, here's the fucking truth. But this reader saw that your bloodline is linked to and, and connected with the same ancestors that this reader fuck with, works with, or no, even like like, like how they have natives, you have natives too. And they, the bloodlines actually connect. What we're going to be realizing is that certain people that we meet as our soul tribe, they actually was our family in past lives. Like, you know, you could be, you know, if this is something that you're going to find out intuitively. Okay? And only the wise can understand this. Not no one immature. You find out your soul tribe, remember, y'all bloodlines connect and link. It's connected and y'all like distant cousins. Way distant cousins. That's what the soul tribe, soul family is about. This karmic is not your soul. Y'all not family. Y'all not, y'all bloodline don't connect. It's nah. They are, they are, they outsiders. And that's what the reader saw about this person. That's why they so shocked. They still shocked. And the reader saw like, yeah, you're going to be shocked. Well, the reader warned them, you're going to be shocked with what I'm about to say and what I see. But, you know, you was wrong. Pretty much you was in the wrong. You was not supposed to do this. I see everything that was being played out. And I see what you do, what you do, and I saw what this person was doing. And I saw that you did a lot more than what you are saying that you did. And I'm seeing this per this person's ancestors doing a lot more than what you're saying that they're doing. And they're like, I know what I'm seeing. And they're saying, I and I have a feeling you're not seeing as much as you think you're seeing. They was told, all right, I feel like ringing my bell. Can I get a hallelujah? This witch has fallen. Okay, I got my little witch brooms. Okay, the two witches is fallen. All right, because they're trying to say you do dark magic, but yet they're, they're in dark energy. They're just trying to use you as a scapegoat. And that's what that ancestor saw that channeled to that reader. All right, look, karma. They saw that this karmic was trying to send you some backlash for just being you, for just being yourself. You're not doing nothing. They actually saw you just innocently standing there, you just being attacked, blindsided. Your ancestor was not going to have that. I'm actually seeing a few ancestors showed up at one fucking time, created a huge force. To destroy this negative energy. Your ancestors, they are extra. They ain't got to do all that extra stuff. But as above, so below. What you put out there comes back ten times harder. So they actually do got to do all the extra stuff. Maybe this karmic feel that way. But they do got to do all the extra stuff to show your ass. This shit is not to be played with. You're playing a game. This is not reality or real life. This is a game. You do not play games on people with, with people's life. They're facing karma for attacking your ancestors. I'm getting like... Karma and ancestors. Ancestral connection. There is 
there is a karmic connection between them and your ancestors, but they created it. I'm getting a cold energy coming from this karmic. They created the negative energy. They came for your bloodline because of you, because you was the next here to the throne. For some of you guys, this could have been a family member, but they're not really family in spirit. They infiltrated your bloodline to take your throne. Your ancestors are going to always defend you. This is the outside trying to, try to take your throne, feel like they deserve it. Feel like God should have chosen for that life. All right. Universe should have, should have destined for this, for destined them for this. Come on, get out of here. Feel like this person has been sacrificed, and I feel like in the reading it was it was exposed sacrifice. Like this person, they're being sacrificed, right? Like the ancestors are sacrificing them for divine feminine because they don't need this person no more. Why they don't need them no more? All right, because they are not in righteous energy. Now this karmic may hear this and, and take that the wrong way. Oh, so you know the ancestors? She is using the ancestors to sacrifice us. No, the ancestors are sacrificing you, aka letting you go. Letting you go, detaching from you. That's the sacrifice. They're willing to sacrifice you, let you go, leave you alone, and uplift divine feminine. With sacrifices, you always lose to gain. You know, you know what the sacrifice is? The ancestors losing this karmic. They don't care. You want to know why they're doing this karmic? Because you're always twisting shit. You're crazy. You don't see shit right. You're going to get the ancestors caught up in some shit. Fucking around with you because they don't know how the that they don't know how the cosmos work because they can't see. They can only see some things or shit that they used to see in the past. They still remembering that, holding on to that, but they can't see currently now. They want to say, well, a lot of people can't see because da, da, da. no. I understand we we go through blockages and stuff like that, but this person is is like they 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 attracted a huge blockage that's beyond ascension symptoms, retrogrades, full moons. This is spell work. This is energy work. And it's going to take a while for this shit to get taken off. And they're looking at, they're, they're, listen, they're looking at you spying on you saying they're not spying on you. All right. They're, they're not, they're saying they're not practicing spell work, but yet they're practicing spell work. They're saying they're not being childish or talking about you and gossiping and being playful with spell work, but they are. They're, listen, all these karmics, all of them, Spirit is showing me. All of them is doing spell work on you because you're a star because you're chosen. And they want to receive your blessings, your your will of fortune. Your ancestors blessed you. Your ancestors gave you a great fortune on the other side. It's a, it's a spiritual inheritance. They can't claim this. They're not part of the bloodline. This is why they're going to always get trampled. They cannot take what your bloodline left for you. They cannot take from your bloodline. They cannot take what your bloodline have. Okay, they cannot. They just cannot. Okay, they just cannot. This person is as small as an ant compared to your ant, your ancestors, and they think they ant ant man. You're not ant your ant you're not ant man. You small as an ant. Yeah, they're depressed and they're lonely and they're sad and miserable. These are miserable souls. All right, they want to see you unhappy. And and it's like they don't want to look at themselves as sacrifice because they are. And that's just, they've been, listen, they've been called out many times. All right, about the ancestors, letting them go. All right, and, and they know deep down inside they need to change. The ancestors tried giving them chances, but they would not walk down, walk down that door. That door of letting go. Detaching from all the drama that they created. That they created with you. But I feel like I feel like they they chose to block that door, block that door from from opening, which means they blocked their own awakening. Okay, and and I feel like now they want this door to open. And and it's too late. The door is closed with the two of wands reverse, and I feel like their energy is open for all of this negative energy to hit them. This is what they put out there, Star Seeds, and it's and it's been sent back, and they received double triple karma. All right, and I feel like not just by your bloodline, all right, your bloodline sending, it's like what you're, I've seen, seen your bloodline sending back whatever they sent towards you. Your bloodline did a lot of back to senders. God stepped in. Angels is like divine intervention right here. And, they, and just know your ancestors had a right to do that. And I feel like your ancestors watched, all right, as well, while all this shit was going down. Like I'm, I'm, I'm getting, actually watching. 
them go down too, facing this karma and the shit being sent back to them. All right, you see, this is them trying to fight against your intuition, your downloads, and God said that goes against law, period. If they're working with a certain, um, you know, spiritual practice like Ifa, that goes against Ifa, that goes against voodoo. Even hoodoo, because hoodoo is connected with universal law. It is. See, y'all karma's trying to do it and it's not working, and you trying to enforce it to prove a point, and all you're doing is proving that the shit is still on you. Stop watching us, all right? And you're very spiteful. You talk a lot of shit. And, and it's like you want to prove to people that you you about that life. And listen, you are liable to losing your life. Trying to fuck with somebody else's life. You are. Because you putting yourself on the line. You putting your life on the line. All right, you need to separate. You need to separate yourself from that childish side, Karmic. And just do some proper inner healing work. All right, and stop trying to slow people down all the time. You get what I'm saying? Like, just stop doing that and let go of the past. Move on from the past. If you can't move on from the past, you ain't going to receive shit. And listen to whatever that reader told you because they are connected with the divine. They're connected with their bloodline. All right, you need to stop doing back to senders. Stop trying to send people blockages and stop doing all this whack, lame shit. I feel like y'all going to be very fruitful, okay? Yeah, and be excited with this page of cups. Be ecstatic. I feel like there's so, I feel like these karmics are predators and they like to feed off of children too. And yeah, they could have been trying to slow down your children. Slow down your children like strength, vitality. Or I feel like they tried to unalive your kids. Yes, I'm being I'm being candid with y'all. They did. They did. And they spoke, they tried to speak down into existence and they sent attacks and they missed. It missed and it hit them and their family. Listen, and a lot of shit is going to keep hitting their family. Their whole future is fucked up. Their whole household is dysfunctional. Shit is falling apart. This is them. Five of fucking cups. All right, and, and they know. They know it's because of the spell work they did. This is someone that may do this for a living. And I feel like they're about to lose their business. Yep, they're going to walk away from that shit. All right, because it's, it's not like, it's not paying like how it used to. And shit ain't flowing like how it used to. They can keep praying for it and manifesting that but in reality the shit is backfiring all right the blessings goes to the chosen ones it don't go to these damn devils that's choosing to work with negative energy okay so i'm about to go soon Yeah, y'all have spiritual guidance. I'm seeing a saint around you guys that is protecting you, praying over you. It's very heavenly and divine. Could be, I'm hearing Saint Mary. All right, definitely could be Mary here. All right, or Isis as well. I'm getting Isis as well. Yeah, they're watching you on social media. They be signed on everything that you talk about, everything that you know. Like, oh, how you know about Saint Mary? How you know about Isis? How you know about them? How you know? Time to start asking these karmic questions. Because they're hiding shit in their shadow, hiding shit. All right, and I feel like they're, they're, they are masking how they truly feel. I feel like this is someone that has no emotion. You can tell they have no emotion. You can tell from the look on their face. They're just, like, dull in the inside. And I feel like y'all tired of having to master your emotions and thoughts to be around these people. These people need to get the fuck away from you. You don't need to be around them. They're actually trying to be around you. They need to get away from you. See, they keep trying to come towards you. All like, I, I hate nothing about you. All of, or coming all around you, all just like in your face. I hate nothing about you. I hate nothing about you. Oh my God, please. And you're just tired. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Like, I'm like, bitch, listen, that mastering your emotion and thought is, bitch, I will punch you in the face. If only I could punch you in the face. If only I could say what I really want to fucking say. Y'all tired of having to be in that vibe. This person needs to accept that they are lonely. And, and they got demons. That's making them feel even more cold and empty. All right? And you guys are happy. You are becoming who you are. Whoever you affirm to be, that's who you are becoming. And y'all are also tired of having to mask your light to make these people feel comfortable. They need to fucking get the hell up and chase their dreams. And stop projecting that they hate nothing about you, but yet they hate you. They hating on you. That's backwards. All right? Yeah, this person, they need to cleanse their space. They need to cleanse their space. They need to cleanse their energy. All right, that's what they need to do. They, if they feel like it's cloudiness around their dreams, they need to cleanse it. They got, I, honestly, I feel like this person feel alone. They need to cleanse their energy. That's it. That's fucking it. And they need to eat healthier foods and stop talking shit about people because when they talk shit, it, it brings in all this negative energy. All right, because the gossip is lies. Success hater. They're a hater. They need to get out of that possessed hater energy. They're a hater. And I feel like, you know, 
They're gonna get. They're gonna continue to get karma if they keep trying to block your energy. I'm getting that. They're gonna keep continuing to face karma here. Okay, for this financial management, I feel like my eye is about to show them. They want to be so obsessed with money. I feel like their money about to go down. That's their karma. All right, yeah, and I feel like y'all gonna be. I feel like y'all gonna like your finances and strength. I feel like your your finances is gonna become like it's gonna grow. It's like your finances, like that frequency is going to be even more stronger, which is going to help you attract more. All right, that vibration, frequency. Look, they hating on your glow up, man. They hate every time you take action and, and take action and show up for yourself. You doing you, okay? Like, yeah, they're a hater. Straight up and down. The haters see you winning. They hating in the shadows. They in their shadows, hating in the shadows. They got too much going on here, okay? And they're watching you speaking negative against you. And y'all fighting against a lot of those projections. All right, a lot of those negative thoughts, like psychic attacks. They're sending you psychic attacks. Y'all fight against that, and I feel like my aunt is fighting for you, too. You guys are beautiful. All right, I feel like my aunt sees you for who you are, and that's a beautiful person, a beautiful soul. So keep working with my aunt. All right, if you're a karmic here, stop working with my aunt because you're going to get karma, okay? Your ass is crazy. All right, please stop hating on the glow up because that's also bringing you karma, too. All right, but... um. Trying to stop our damn energy. Y'all just low vibrational, carnal, karmic, and disgusting. I love y'all. Namaste.